Good evening, ladies and Georges. Yes, well, we've got a wash for them, haven't we, you see? So, let's all listen to it, and then I'll tell you what I can about it. Okay, so I've got it plugged in at the moment, uh, so we'll try it amplified through the little black star, and then we'll have a listen to it acoustically. <laughs> Okay, and here we are acoustically. Let's see if it'll pick it up okay. Of a chat. I've tried to find it. I can't, well not the exact one anyway. So yes, what we have is a Washburn and this is from the Festival series and it's the EA and then some other stuff which I presume uh, meets with the actual model designation and when I tell you that I can't find one I will show you why. So we'll start at the uh, stem and work our way to the stern. So, of course, we've got this uh, very, very nice traditional washburn headstock with the logo at the top there. Spinning him round. Whoops. Uh, washburn branded tuners. They look pretty goto, don't they? Hmm. Do not think. Hmm. Didn't work. Anyway, never mind. Uh, so, yes. And uh, what I assume is because the, the woods do vary from one to another, but I would say that this is a mahogany neck. <laughs> and moving to, oh yes, which of course is bound, uh, which is nice. I do like the way that they put the dot fret markers both at the 7th and the 12th. That's quite nice. Not that anybody looks at them anyway, because you're always looking, aren't you? You're looking at these, looking at the dot markers on the on the binding or on the side of the neck. Um, yeah, so you've got the strap button on the heel of the neck, which is capped. I do quite like the ones that have got the washburn W, but if you had that there, then the look of it will be spoiled by the uh, by the strap button. Yeah, plenty, 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 plenty of binding, and of course you've got that beautiful Florentine. Uh, single cut there, and the serial number inside uh, tells me that it's handcrafted in Korea uh, in 1990. And your sound hole, of course, is oval as opposed to round, which is quite a nice feature. You have binding both back and front of the body, and you'll note that this is a, it's such a nice slim get on the ball with size. I really, really like it. Uh, so if we compared it with my Yamaha, then this is this is probably about two and three quarter inches, whereas the Yamaha will be a good a good four or thereabouts, maybe a little bit more at a guess. Uh, so yes, so we have some more um, nice inlaid uh, stuff here at the back. I'm guessing I'm guessing that we've got a maple back and sides 
and certainly a spruce or uh, what I call it Sitka top. And the binding is multi-ply, which I do rather like. The other thing that I like about this is, oh no, well I like washburns. This is washburn number three. I've never owned any of them. Uh, there was that G5 at first uh, of my mate uh, Martin's, and then we had John's uh, guitar in a box package style one, which was for a cheapie. That was brilliant. And now this one. So, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty up on washburn stuff. I like those individual little saddles. So, that you can switch them round if you wish to, you know, get your intonation somewhere about right. But, you know, you know the sort of thing that I mean. And of course, underneath the bridge, I assume that's where you'll have your piezo transducer. Now, the thing about this one, especially, look at the finish on the damn thing. Look at that finish. I did kind of save the best and last. Um, the, that it's like a mottled green. Look at the look at it. Look 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 look. look. That is superb, and I will tell you, this came with a hard case, and the hard case actually has a, a, a minty green. When I say mint, I don't mean like brand new, I mean mint as in mint green. Uh, like a mint green faux fur lining, because we don't have real fur these days. So, on your uh, little fisherman style, let's make our acoustic louder thingy, uh, you have got a volume and bass, middle and treble. And that was the setting that I had them on for that little thing. I do find it a bit toppy, but that's probably the amp. And you could obviously address that if you knew how to make your amp warmer, like what I don't. So, that is, yes, absolutely beautiful construction. And it re honestly, if you are in the market for a bit of an acoustic, especially one that you can plug in, uh, these are, they won't break the bank. Uh, you can get the Nuno Betancourt one, which is the Festival EAS series. I assume they'll be made in the States. Now, is it Illinois? Chicago, anyway. And um, they actually have, instead of just a regular jack uh, out, they've also got an XLR out, you know, like a, like a microphone three pin job and all in all I think that that is probably one of the nicest semis I've seen that finish is absolutely amazing and I haven't seen and I've looked, let me tell you I spent a good hour and a half looking on the internet doing a bit of research see if I can find the exact same one I can't find it anywhere so that is I think a bit of a triumph well done Brian uh, so that is that from me and the washman tonight, and I'll see you all for a bit of a cheeky midweek. Take care, folks. Adios, amigos. I'll see you soon.